Utah. All right. Hey, guys, this is Dr. Colin Zhu, a.k.a. The Chef Doc, and we are here in Denver, Colorado, and I am joined by this lovely, lovely physician colleague. We're here at the ACLM 2023. Please introduce yourself, who you are, and I understand this is your first time, and tell us what you think so far. Yeah. So my name is Shikha Murtia. I'm a primary care physician, and I work in the Boston area. First time at the American College of Lifestyle Medicine Conference. I've been board certified uh, in 2020, and this is a great conference. I love the networking. I love the talks. Just a really vibrant community. Um, love the food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All yeah, of it. Yeah, the yeah. food's yeah. Right yeah, honestly, I came for the networking and the food. Yeah, so it's been like I discovered uh, lifestyle medicine in 2020. I didn't know anything about it before. And it was a conference I'd registered for at Harvard. They run a lifestyle medicine conference, and I heard it, and I said, I need to change my own lifestyle. And then I started practicing it with my patients. How has lifestyle medicine, you know, benefited you thus far, you know, since, you know, turning on to it? You know, what are the pain points in your community that you're, you know, seeing the the challenges, the struggles? How can lifestyle medicine help in that regard? Oh, it can help a lot. So a lot of challenges. First of all, I improve my own health. Like I didn't have any major chronic diseases. You know, I lost weight. I just feel more energetic. And uh, my husband joined me in this journey. He became board certified as well. And then my kids too. Your kids got board certified too? No, no. They joined us in becoming whole food plant based. (laughs) Uh, Hell no. They're younger. (laughs) And then uh, we influenced our parents to change their diet. Uh, Yeah. So I think we made some strides in our family. And then with my patients, I, uh, you know, pretty much incorporate in primary care that's what you see hypertension diabetes high cholesterol obesity and i'm particularly interested in obesity so now i counsel everybody on dietary changes exercise i started exercising myself regularly which is really good and i was never a regular what do you do i just hired a personal trainer four months ago and i'm doing strength training Mm. because as we age you know women they have bone loss muscle loss so we lose stuff (laughs) <laughs> oh, so I was like, I need to start strength training. Uh, so I'm doing, I'm doing that. Uh, so yeah, it's helped me personally, helping my patients. Uh, a lot of my patients come back, they feel so much better, more energetic. They get off some of their meds. Of course, it's depending on what they implement in their life. It's challenging in primary care because um, you don't have time. I have like 20 minutes in a visit, but I still cram it in. I've created some printed resources. I just hand it to them. I and I try to hope that they follow some of it. So that's how I've been. I also belong to a volunteer pod, like the Plant Pure Pods. The folks in the pod we host like uh, some of these movies and documentaries in different libraries. Try to educate just community members. That's just a purely volunteer okay. work that we do. For other clinicians that are not board certified, what would you say to them? Would be the reason? Uh, what is the Return on investment, you would say, on getting, like, why get board certified? Because it's deep dive into the knowledge. Like, I mean, I got introduced with a conference, but then I wanted to learn more. So getting the board certification, you have to go through the CMEs. You have to read the board review course, the material, attend conferences like these, which are amazing. Get CME. Get CME. So you can get regular CMEs with these lifestyle conferences. And then the board certification, just, you know, you're, you're an expert then in trying to prevent and reverse a lot of chronic illnesses. I see just benefit and yeah. nothing else. Yeah. What do you hope to see in three to five years? What do you hope to see, you know, lifestyle medicine drive the ship to? Oh my God, I hope to see that a lot more physicians uh, are on board with it. And I hope in my own practice that I can work with a team, like if, you know, a dietitian, maybe a health coach, a nurse practitioner, then we can have more of a team-based approach to help more and more patients. You know, more physicians accept this uh, in their own lives and then also coach patients and counsel patients. And maybe the word of ACLM spreads. Uh, That's what I hope to see. Awesome. Thank you so much for what you do and keep fighting the good fight.